happy Friday. Thanks for joining me here today. We are going to be styling my dining room table for Christmas and I want to make it look cohesive like it goes with that look. So as usual, I have hunted and gathered my items. I've got a visual of what I'm working with. So now it's a matter of plugging and play. I know I say that all the time, but it just makes it fun for me. Plug and play. Think nutcracker plates. Of course, black and white, some gold, some texture, some color, and some glass. So to start, I have some Nutcracker plates, Amazon, Table Runner black and white, Amazon. I have some placemats to add texture, Amazon. I have some chargers to work with. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use, but I have some gold and I have some black and white. I have some plaid napkins and some napkin rings that match the chargers. And then over here, I've got a razor, a wreath. I possibly will use that, I'm not sure. I've got some taper candle holders. Two adorable nutcracker cookie jars. They go with that collection of plates I just showed you. And then I've got some glass hurricanes to go with potentially these taper candles and the holders. And this is what I'm working with. And I wanna share with you guys my new um, chandelier. I love it. I love, love, love it. And then I got the matching one for the hallway and I got two for the kitchen. We are totally coordinated. You know the drill. I always start with my table runner. Cute, cute. Now let's go in with these placemats, Amazon, to add texture. See? And now we have texture. And now we're gonna go in with the gold chargers. So I have six gold chargers. I love the dimpling in these chargers. Super pretty. And now I'm gonna go in with these time and table black medallion plates. I'm placing these on top of my chargers and then the nutcracker plates will go on top. Jangle them bells and frolic. Oh my God. On each end, I ran out of nutcracker plates because I used them in my hutch. So what I'm gonna do on the ends is I'm gonna add a little present and Obviously, if I was going to be entertaining, this could be moved off to the side. But for the sake of doing this video today, we're going to showcase it at each head of the table. So now I'm going in with my plaid napkins with my little dimpled napkin rings. I think that's cute. It adds a nice little splash of red and green. Now, candles. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this big, large farmhouse riser and I'm gonna place it in the middle of the table. So I just found this on Amazon. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much, I just bought another set. Hold on, let me go get the other one. I put some berries in here, and now I'm going to add an LED candle to it. So now what I'm gonna do is place this on top of the uh, riser in the center of the wreath. 
you guys. Look how cute this would be if I had a third small one on the other side. I could fill this with some Christmas ornaments, you know, red, green, and gold. That would look so pretty as a centerpiece. But because I don't have mine yet, they're on the way, I've got to do something different. I'm going to leave that because I like it, but let's put some candles on either side for ambiance. So now I'm going to go in with these black and red taper candles and holders and then put the hurricane vase over the top. One on either side of that center arrangement. And by the way, guys, get yourself some museum putty. I think that's what it's called. And I'll link it below. What you do is you pull off a little piece, stick it on the bottom of your candle holder, then put your taper candle and push on it hard. And then you don't have to worry about your candlesticks looking all wonky. It's a lifesaver. I do have a set of four black taper candle holders with the candles, the LED ones. And I thought I could um, place them like this, two over here, you know, two over there but I think it might be too much. That's how I originally had it. And I think I want to simplify. Can you, did you hear that correctly? Simplify? What's wrong with me? Am I feeling okay? Oh, I think I'm gonna kind of angle them next to the candle holder. So if you're coming in this way, you'll see them. It'll be super cute. <laughs> turned out super cute. I turned the chair so you could see how cute it looks with the checks, the buffalo checks on it. But let me take you down and show you a close-up. for joining me today. As always, I always appreciate it when you take time to stop by and leave me a comment. And I want to wish you guys all a wonderful weekend. I hope you have all the cozy feels at home of Christmas. And I'll see you next week. Mwah! Bye guys! Yay!